Drawing faces in many different angles is hard, but what about animating them? Hey, my name is Valkyrie. I am an artist working full-time in the art industry, and I have been doing this for over two years now. Today, I want to show you how I fully animated this wolf head turn. And yes, before I start with this, you are allowed to use this as a reference and make your own. Please do. I would love that. Many, many people have asked me for a tutorial where I explain how to draw wolves at different angles. So I am giving you every straight on front angle of the wolf head there is. This won't be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to animate a turnaround, but I will tell you exactly what steps I took to be able to animate this turnaround. I have to be honest though, this isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. Um, it requires a lot of patience and you have to correct your own mistakes. So if you're looking for a very easy tutorial or easy way to animate this, you came to the wrong video. Because well, technically it will never be easy. But I will try to explain it as simple as I can. Because fr quite frankly, this animation only took me about like four hours. And I never did something like this before. So this was my first try. To do this, you need a few things. A side view, a front view, and a three-quarter view of your character's head. In this case, the wolf. I already had my views ready, but they did not align with each other. Meaning I still have to change the way they are drawn. And you will see every single step in this video. If you still need to make your three views, which I'm guessing you still need to do. To get started, find pictures of wolves from different straight on angles and draw their heads that way. Or you can look at mine. I have all three references of these views in the description below. They are free to practice, but keep in mind that mine are very stylized, so I did change the proportions of that wolf. Okay, seriously, enough with the disclaimers, let's just get started. I picked one of the three drawn heads as a lead. Pick whatever one you find the prettiest with the correct proportions. In my case, it was the side view. Place it in the middle of your canvas. From here you create a new layer and start drawing horizontal lines from specific points in the face. You want this to be perfect so you know exactly where, for example, the eyes are at every angle. I recommend the following. Top of the ears, top of the head, where the ears are attached to the head. Since this is a stylized drawing, my wolf has some extra cheek fur. I draw a line for that as well. The eyes are the first thing someone looks at, so getting these right was my priority. They get a lot of guidelines too, such as the top of the eyes, the eyelashes, bottom of the eyes and this thing. Further down, I'm going to draw a line for the beginning of the nose and the bottom of the nose. Same for the mouth and the chin and also the end of the neck. Since these guidelines are based on one view, I need to correct the others. So I started correcting the eyes of the front view to match the guidelines of the side view with the help of mirroring my art. Meaning that whatever you draw on one side will also show up on the other. Especially for a front view, this feature is very handy. Luckily for me, most of my character was already aligned quite a bit. I added the three quarter view and here you can see the biggest change. I don't think anything from my original three-quarter view was proportionally aligned, so it needed a lot of work. I opened a new layer and started tracing my own art and correcting the lines. First, I started with the nose and then proceeded with the eyes. If you take a closer look, you see that I use less guidelines than I recommended earlier this video. I did not add all of them at once, so I could focus on a few every time. My reason for this is just to not get overwhelmed too much. Once the proportions are correct, I'll add more guidelines to fix the rest of the head. It is important that you take your time with this. Here I start drawing the ear from scratch. Because the original one from the three quarter view was not usable. At least not if you follow the guidelines. If you take a look at the top of my screen, you see that I always have reference pictures of the real animal to look at. I know this might be annoying, but I will always keep telling you to use reference photos. It's not cheating, believe me. I got better at drawing the three quarter view just by looking at reference photos. There is no fail safe tutorial for this. You really have to look at pictures and observe. 
I added the cheek fur as well and kept switching between the different views to make sure they match. Please note that in the original recording, I switch a lot more than you see me do here. Now, why would I be making this and why would I be animating it? It has something to do with a Paul from a long time ago. And that is all I will say about the matter for now. As I am drawing this three-quarter view, I notice that some of the proportions aren't looking the way I want them to look. Meaning that even though I followed the guidelines, I do not like the result. In the end, you want it to look nice at all angles, not just the side view. At one point, I noticed that the chin was too high up. It looked alright in the side view, but in the three quarter it looked weird. I went to the original side view and added more space there. I also flipped my drawing to filter out even more odd looking proportions. When you are doing something like this, you should test if the turnaround looks natural when you play the different angles after one another. Anything that jumps out, flickers or just looks odd should be changed. As you can see, a lot of this is just going back and forth. I actually haven't drawn wolves for quite a while, so I had to get used to it again. There's no step-by-step -step way to draw this correctly in one go. I have to correct my shapes all the time and see what works and what doesn't. Another note is that the cheek fur is at a very specific angle here because of her design. For a normal wolf, I would draw the fur down instead of pointing it upwards like now. After testing all three sketch views, I quickly traced my sketch to get cleaner lines. Since the neck fur wasn't accurate yet, this was my next step. I made new guidelines to indicate where every piece of fur ends. And with that, the hardest part is done. The first three angles are the most difficult to get right. Now all that is left to do are some in-between frames, meaning one new view between the side view and the three-quarter view, and one in between the three-quarter and the front view. I kept the guidelines, but I also changed the color of the frames I had already made. By changing them into different colors, I could leave these on as extra guides without getting confused by all the black lines. I do not want to keep guessing which line belongs to which head. To get a new head angle in between the ones we already have, you begin to draw lines in the middle of the ones that are already present. I won't go into too much detail on how to do this the easiest way, because explaining animation takes a lot of time, and I would love to do this, but I also do not want this video to be 30 minutes long. So let me know if you want a video about this in the future where I explain how to animate multiple frames. As you can see, animating the in-between frames is done a lot faster. Not only do I have the guidelines for my proportions, I also have two angles that are already perfectly done. All I need to do now is to draw in between them and change some points in the end. After finishing all five of the views, I flipped four of them so they would go into the other direction. And here it is, the wolf head turn. Feel free to try this out for yourself. The references are in the description below. I hope this was somewhat helpful. 
I know this isn't exactly a tutorial, but I still hope that you learned something from this. I normally don't say this, but if you are genuinely interested in this animation kind of stuff, consider subscribing. I plan to do more with animation on this channel. I actually have these animation videos planned out. I'll be going now, but I'll be back next week with a new video. So I hope to see you then. Bye.